Hello and welcome to all of my Tauruses, Sun, Moon, and Arising. Thank you guys so much for joining me today on my channel. And also as well, a happy birthday to all of my Tauruses since we are in Taurus season now, officially in Taurus season. This video is all for my Tauruses, Sun, Moon, and Arising, as well as your Venus sign. If you know your Venus and your Venus happens to fall into the sign of Taurus and you've come to the right place, this video is all about the upcoming month of May 2019 and what we could be energetically looking forward to. So so this is for all of my Tauruses. I'm a Taurus myself, so I'm really intrigued and excited to see um, what the cards are saying. So before we get started, I do want to say this is a general reading. So take whatever it is that you can from this reading, but use your intuition always intuitively. Um, make sure that you are listening to spirit and tapped in throughout this reading, um, throughout every reading it is that you get done for yourself. That the way you can get those little intuitive hits throughout the message and those little intuitive hits are um, your guides and spirit uh, kind of saying, hey, you know, pay attention to this. This is this right here is meant exactly just for you if you guys have a bit of an issue kind of connecting with that intuition before getting into these readings what i'm going to start doing is offering a, a 15 second meditation on these videos for my like prediction videos um for the signs that the way you guys can kind of calm the noise calm your mind and get into this more intuitive space for the reading so that the way while the reading is um going on like i said you're going to be able to really get these little intuitive hits from spirit so i'm going to go on ahead and offer you guys a 15 second meditation starting right now All right, so hopefully that 15 second meditation was enough time for you guys to kind of intuitively get connected with yourself. Make sure that you check your other signs and your other placements in your chart. Um, and I will leave them all linked down below in the description box. But without further ado, let's get started with my Taurus's sun, moon, and a rising, possibly Venus. All right, so the very first card that we have here is the Hermit. The very next card that we have here, the Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. And the very last for the tarot is the Queen of Wands in reverse. Right away. Um, thank you, my spirit guides, for this message coming through so quickly and clearly. Uh, but definitely, I am seeing, obviously, an opportunity, a tangible opportunity coming into your life um, during the month of May for my Taurus of Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm seeing this tangible opportunity come into play um, during May. The thing is, is that you are going to be in a space or the energy of, of surrounding May. Uh, not necessarily what uh, this prediction video isn't necessarily going to tell you what's going to happen in the month of May. Um, but what this card reading is going to do is it's going to provide you a nice overview or a nice detailed look at the energy surrounding the month of may okay so i just wanted to say that first um so the energy that i'm seeing surrounding the month of may for my taurus system moon and a rising possibly venus is there's definitely going to be this feeling of needing to be alone there's gonna and i've been seeing this with like literally every other sign that i've done a reading for 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 this upcoming month of may and it doesn't shock me because i i have to mention this literally like with every sign that i've done so far but um you know astrologically we have a lot going on astrologically Astrologically, we have um, Pluto and Jupiter both in, um, both in retrograde. Saturn is about to go retrograde here pretty soon. And we have this new moon in Taurus coming up um, on May 5th. I believe it's May 5th. And right now, uh, with that new moon, it's situated at the constellation Andromeda. And Andromeda is the woman in the stories who's kind of like this damsel in distress and she needs to be uh, rescued, right? So it's kind of like us finally releasing this state of... Um, kind of uh, victimhood is kind of releasing the state of just letting go of all these kind of past things holding us back because she's shackled Andromeda is shackled um, in the constellations and this new moon is going to help us really kind of release that energy because we've been really focused on the constellation of Andromeda for about a month and a half now with this uh, final new moon coming it's going to be kind of breaking free from this Andromeda energy and um 
like I said, I'm, I'm seeing here that there's a really going to feel this need to, to be alone. The energy is going to be like, I just really kind of want to be alone. I really kind of want to be with my own thoughts. Um, you may spend a lot more time alone for the month of May. And like I said, with this Ace of Pentacles, I'm seeing a tangible opportunity come through in May. And the thing is, is it's almost going to seem too good to be true in a sense. And not even that it's too good to be true. But, you know, like I said, I'm a Taurus. Um, so I understand how we think we take our damn time with everything like somebody could literally offer us a million dollars like in a suitcase and we'd be like well why are you doing that you know we'd have to have all the facts straight for us before we jumped on to anything because we do not jump Tauruses are so so stubbornly slow I see with this ace of pentacles it's almost going to be a thing where it's like we don't trust this opportunity or you don't trust this opportunity that's coming in the month of May and almost in a sense of where it's like it's going to have to go through my process first before I trust this and jump on this opportunity there's no way I'm jumping on this opportunity only for me to fall flat on my face or it doesn't work out or it ends up being a disappointment or something like that so I, I'm, I'm getting this sense of the energy of like yeah this opportunity is going to come and like I said it's going to be a tangible opportunity it's going to be something that you can clearly see wrap your hands around the thing is is like I said it's going to be difficult uh for you to kind of trust it and for you to kind of want to trust it but that's the thing the queen of wands um in reverse here is showing me that that you're not going to have a lot of confidence in this new opportunity but that comes from a lack of confidence within the self that comes with the feeling of do I really deserve this? And that's, like I said, this is just what I'm seeing with my queen of wands in reverse right here. So this may only resonate with a few of you, uh, but I just need to say this because I'm feeling it so strongly. Um, there's going to be this feeling of, do we really, do I really deserve this? Like, why is this happening for me? You know, like to question an opportunity, you know, like I understand that's the, that's the Taurus energy in us. Like we just, we move very slowly and we want to make sure that something is promised for us before we kind of um, start making our way towards this new opportunity. But that's the thing. You can't always make sure that everything's going to work out and that everything's going to go fine. Sometimes you have to take a leap of faith and trust in the universe. And I really believe that that's what um, is going to be happening for my mate towards sun, moon, and our rising is the universe is really going to be testing you um, coming up in May. Like, do you trust me? Because you've been wanting this for a long time. You've been asking for this for a long time. You've been doing your law of attraction, your intentions, your affirmation settings. You've been really um, cultivating something Thing, or you've been really uh, looking forward to something. And now that I'm offering you this opportunity, are you going to trust me enough to take this leap of faith and take it and see where it takes you? And um, with this queen of wands here, I, I know it's like a confidence thing within the self. Do we feel like we deserve it? So this is why it's, it's really going to be imperative to spend some time alone to be able to see the truth, be able to discern the truth behind this opportunity. This opportunity is not going to come to trick you. This opportunity is going to come to test you. Okay, so let's take a look at some cards here. I got a couple extra cards, but we're going to take a look at them nonetheless. So the very first one that we have, Eagle. That's funny. The Eagle card here, as well as the Hawk. Oh my God. And the black egg. Oh my God. All right, you guys. So this is amazing with this hawk card here. The hawk is this watchful, all seeing messenger of divinity. And I'm just going to read the excerpt to you guys really quickly here. So the sharp eyes of the hawk watch our every move. This keen eyed bird has the ability to see every little detail as well as the bigger picture. When this card appears, fate has its eyes on you and the winds are shifting. It is said that the hawk carries news upon its wings and is sent from divinity itself to deliver it. The message should not be taken lightly, though it may seem smaller and significant, it, it will eventually redirect your course. So when in balance, the hawk energy sees clearly and intuitively when out of balance uh, the hawk sees too much and is suspicious to bring into balance a perspective shift a shift in perspective you guys so this is all about seeing things uh very clearly seeing things clearly and also seeing things uh with your intuitive eyes that the way you're not feeling as though can i trust myself intuition is going to be there to guide you and to remind you yes you can trust yourself this is an opportunity to pay attention to this is an opportunity to take because there's something in this opportunity that is meant just for you and for your purpose and for your journey and then we have the eagle 
and he is the all-pervading power truth seeker who transforms karma. And I'm just going to read it very quickly here. The noble eagle emanates the light of the sun. This great bird is both physically and spiritually strong and represents mastery over the elements of fire and air. When the eagle appears, you'll soon be thrown into the karmic fire for the sake of your transformation. The eagle pushes us to be our best and brightest selves and stops at nothing to see us shine. Grasp the sun and your talons and hold on for the ride. You are stronger than you think, eagle child. When in balance, the eagle is bright, radiant, and challenges. When out of balance, controlling. To bring into balance, step into the unknown. You guys, like, all of this right here is saying to use your physical eyes, use your, in your intuitive eyes, and trust trust in spirit have faith because your intuition is going to tell you like i said what this opportunity is all about you're going to know if this is the opportunity you've been waiting for you're going to know if this is the thing that you've been waiting for because it's going to have your name all over it this is going to be straight from the universe to you and you're going to really need to use your int your intuitive eyes as well as your physical eyes to be able to recognize this gift and the black egg here talks all about um being true to yourself because the black egg deals with the fifth chakra which is the throat chakra and the throat chakra really governs how we truly feel and it governs how we express our true feelings and our true emotions the black egg is is all about speaking from an authentic voice speaking the truth as well as the hawk and the eagle they all had to deal with truth that's what the hermit has to deal with going within taking this introspective journey to find the truth so there's a lot of uh truth coming through here that's like trust 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 in the truth because you're going to know when the truth reveals itself to you you're going to know that this thing is meant f just for you um another thing that this black egg could also be saying is for the month of may you may be drawn um to things like writing reading teaching singing uh even public speaking um, sounds are really going to be a big thing. Books, uh, the concept of truth is just really going to draw, draw us in. This card could even be all about, you're starting to ask questions like, what do I know to be true about myself and what is true about the world? And it's funny because like I said, astrologically, we also have the same energy going on with the planets with Jupiter going retrograde. Jupiter going retrograde is all about getting down to the actual truth of our core belief system, what it is that we believe in, what it is that makes us us. Like, do we, can we trust in that? Is this good for us? Is this bad for us? You know, what does this do for us? It's all about doing that introspective work. So this is a beautiful time for that. The very next cards that we have here is have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. Yes, have faith faith in this opportunity have faith in what it is that you want you already know that this opportunity is going to be for you because this is the same thing that you've been been asking for and the same thing you've been waiting for and the same thing that you've been wanting so have faith in that the next card that we have is ain a leap of faith take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action yeah you know that you 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 know that you're going to want this opportunity why are you not confident in this opportunity come on I'm a Taurus too. So this is like, I, I feel like I'm also reading for myself, but it's just like, have faith in, in yourself, have faith in, in ourselves, you know, just trust that this opportunity is meant for you. Uh, the next card that we have, Yamanya, um, golden opportunity, important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. What did I tell you guys? With the Ace of Pentacles, there is an opportunity, golden opportunity. It's coming for the month of May. It is coming. It is here. It's like, it's right there. It's just waiting. And just, just trust in it. Take that leap of faith with these golden opportunities here. And then the next one, we have Green Tara start delegating. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. Yes, instead of taking on this, this hermit energy, you know, ask your spiritual team of helpers for help in um, knowing what to do next. You know, they have no problem. They're just kind of, you know, waiting for us to... Um, and invite them into our lives and, and help us and help guide and support us. The next card that we have is Iceberg Submerged. Yeah, do not allow this opportunity to make you feel as though this is something that you really have to, to question or think about or really uh, 
uh, come to a place of complete understanding and trust before you take this this uh, leap of faith. Wait, hold on. Wasn't I saying I was definitely saying leap of faith and we pulled the card leap of faith. I didn't even notice that you guys um, don't allow this opportunity to make you feel so submerged that you cannot take this leap of faith, that you cannot take this jump and say, let me just see where it takes me. Do not get overwhelmed by this opportunity, because if you do, it's going to drag you down. And what this opportunity is meant to do, it's meant to elevate you and push you to take that leap of faith. It's meant to kind of push you off the cliff to make you take this leap of faith. It's not meant to drown you. It's not meant to anchor you down. OK, and the very next card that we have here is clean it up. Yeah. It's time to really clean up that way of thinking. This this Queen of Wands here, this lack of confidence within ourselves. The Queen of Wands, she is the most confident person in the tarot. So to see that in reverse, it's like there's a lack of faith within ourselves. I feel like this entire spread is all about faith for my Taurus's sun, moon, and a rising for the upcoming month of May. This is really going to be a test in faith, like I was saying. The very next card that we have here, safe travel. Keep me safe and let me roam far away, but bring me home. Yeah, see, like, I think maybe um, it's going to be a little bit worrisome because this new opportunity seems as if it's going to take us from the familiar and Tauruses. We have a very difficult time kind of getting used to change. We hate change. It's one thing that's very well known about a Taurus. Um, but the thing is, is you don't have to worry about returning back home. You're going to return back home, but home may look a little different. And that's OK, because like I said, this is something that you've been waiting for and waiting to invite into your life. So, yes, there's going to be changes. This is what you've been waiting for. It's going to be changes you've been trying to invoke and invite change into your life and now you finally got it you don't want it come on it's crazy right the next card here is very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now you guys i can't this entire spread is talking about faith it's going to be a test of faith in may like i was saying for sure and the very last card that we have here is deception someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship so somebody is wearing a false self mask in, a, in this relationship. If you're in a relationship, be aware of that. You know, if um, intuitively you've been feeling as though something could be off, this could be alerting to that. But for me, what it's actually alluding to is um, Tauruses, Sun, Moon, and Arising. We're the ones wearing this false self mask because we're not trusting ourselves. We're, we're not fully ourselves yet. Like I said, the Queen of Wands, she's the most confident person in the zodiac and that's because she knows who she is and she believes in herself she has faith in herself she trusts herself because she knows who she is and i feel as though when there's a lack of that it's because we're not being true to ourselves like i said the black egg talks about the fifth chakra the throat chakra speaking your truth being authentic the hawk and the eagle they are both truth seekers they're all about being the truth um stepping into our full truth stepping into our own truth so this entire month of may it's really going to bring the energy of testing um my taurus is here sun moon and rising it's all going to be a test of how much do you believe in me how much do you want this thing because you've been asking for it and now it's time for you to prove yourself now it's time for you to show yourself you can have it but you have to prove yourself there's a price to pay for this and the price is you being true and authentic to yourself and i love that that's amazing this is amazing to see this is amazing to see um yeah but this is all i'm seeing for my tauruses sun moon and a rising possibly venus as well if you know your venus placement but thank you guys so much for uh tuning in um to all my tauruses out there happy birthday stay strong stay true to yourself no matter what, stay true to yourself because that is what is going to um, really get you over that finish line. Okay, so stay true, stay authentic, stay strong, and I will be back next time. Okay, you guys? Bye.